Hey guys, so today, now, I'm going to show you um, a quick overview, a quick overview, actually, <laughs> a quick overview of the Omega V38 uh, ROM for the Galaxy S3. So, as you can see, this is my Galaxy S3, very awesome device. And now I'm gonna show you the ROM thread on the XDA. Just wait. This is the phone itself. And this is running the Omega V38, actually. Yeah. As you can see over here, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, this is basically the Omega V38. So, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna notice is that um, my ROM looks exactly like stock inside of this ink effect which I had done, but it looks it looks exactly like stock. You know why? Because I like the stock thing. You know this uh, clock was transparent themed in the you know, first Omega, these, oh shit, these toggles were changed, they are looking like something else, I changed them to stock, you know, the boot animation and all that, I changed them to stock, because I like how the stock one feels, you won't notice that it is custom ROM, Till you go ahead and go to your dot device and still you won't notice till you see this yeah you know you won't notice that it is a custom ROM you know the first thing I love a lot is that this ink effect and how you can customize it and make it ever any color you want you know, I like the black with this wallpaper. I got this wallpaper, I don't know from where. Yeah. But if you want, I can, you know, upload that for you. And as you can see, this ink effect is awesome. You know, this is awesome. You should basically, you have, for this room, you have the Omega settings, which is very awesome. This is ink effect, you can go ahead and enable or disable it. Yeah, if you disable it, you can just have your normal thing. And if you enable it, you will have your ink effect. Your the color which you want, you can just put any color. It's not like Gax Note 2 stock which you you're only limited to some colors you can put any color you want as you can see I put red right now and it's red and I like the, how the black one feels yeah you can remove the increasing green tone which is kind of annoying and now I'm you know kind of happy which this ROM has this feature let me just show you how, how it works I got my another phone, my Galaxy Ace, right here, and I want to call myself. Let's remove that and come out of here. You just let's call this device. Let me just move it out. Oh, my body, don't lie. Oh, my body, don't lie. 
as you can see, the, you know, pink, kind of, changes, vo changes volume, you know, from the first uh, thing, it was, the first step, it was some kind of low, low audio, then it became loud, but I think it's kind of annoying. Oh shit. Mm, yeah, so I disable it by checking that. And let's call myself again. As you can see right now. Let's go. It, it was almost, you know, no, not almost, it was the same, you know, the same as you can get, you know, all the whole, the whole, you know, music. So, I like this feature. Um, a lot. And I... I think it's kind of useful then you have the car recorder you know when you're talking to someone you instead of that kind of add call button which is I don't know I think it's kind of useless you'll have a car recorder which you can tap on and record your call so you can turn on auto recording if you want for incoming or outgoing calls it will just start recording can enable wallpaper scroll scrolling and um, in a launcher rotation which I'll show you the wallpaper scrolling but not the launcher rotation because disable it you need to you know kind of you know to enable it you need to reboot and then for disabling again, you need to again reboot. It's kind of wastage of time to show you, but it's basically, you know, mm, as you can see, the wallpaper is scrolling, which I think I don't like that much. So I just uh, remove it. Now, also on my Galaxy Ace, I just use a static mode because I don't want them to move I think it's kind of better um, so the next thing you know for the galaxy for the high-end devices like this like this one or Galaxy Note 2 you have the multi window feature when oh my god and uh, when you get Android 4.1.2, 4.1.2, Jellybean, you yeah. know, as you can see over here, yeah, Jellybean. So, what did this ROM has is, you know, you have all your apps, and it's good, you know, simple, just drag them. And you know, no, you can't run one app at two sides. You know, you just can. You know, the hell. Maybe the app is not optimized. There are some private websites. Uh, then uh, there wasn't bad. There are not bad websites. Don't then they are not porn. Trust me. But with this ROM, you can have wow, multi window control, which is amazing. 
you just have to go to add applications add application add an application you know kind of it will take some time because I have a lot of application a ton of application in this case I'm just gonna use Modern Combat 4 which is an HD game for the you know multi window well, let's see how it works you know I added that you just have to press kill it use this button press edit then you drag this somewhere then press done yeah now you have the multi window we can game with the game you know a freaking HD game running at the same time and let's see how it works well it's uh, my mails my and yeah the game is working but let's use it in portrait see if we can use it in portrait no, because you should be able to use it in portrait if you you know I, I just you have to move it no it's not of course it's not optimized for this kind of usage the hell yeah can play a game and of course read your email at the same time play a game read your email and play a game and I, I'm sure you can just You know, you can just press the thing and just play your game. And then just you can move the mouse and start playing your game. You know. Anyway, I'm not gonna play right now. Oh, this is what I was talking about. Well, why the launcher is rotating? Oh, that's maybe because I didn't re. You know, the first time you install a ROM, you have to un check and uncheck that feature from your Omega control. You know, because. Mm, oh my god, I have a lot of things going on. I to check. Just get oh let's do it later. But you saw what I was talking about. You no know, rotation in launcher. So you saw the multi-window control and you saw the omega settings. How about the omega files? Which is pretty cool. You just have to select your device, mine is Galaxy 3 of course. Yeah, you'll have this screen. You can basically customize and tweak your ROM what however you want. Themes, mods and everything. Icons. Mm, you know, I kinda like it. This is how I just made my phone to look like stock, you know, with these Omega files. So let's do a reboot test and just end this video. Yeah, yeah, you have you have these options. Let's see. Oh, I got a message. 
Mm. Yeah, this is basically how the ROM works, and as you can see, everything is kind of usable right now. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope I didn't, you know, talk bullshit and it was useful for you. And have an awesome day and enjoy your life. And uh, oh, one thing about this ROM, I think the battery life is not that good. You know, hey, you know how I feel about the battery life is it feels it's not that good, but um, you know, uh, let me just show you something. Screenshots, screenshots, screenshots. Where are my screenshots? Oh my god, where are my freaking screenshots? Oh yeah, it's over here. Just let me... Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, as you can see over here, yesterday I got a pretty heavy usage. You know, this is how it looks like. When I got 1%. This is how it looks like. I got I played Mortal Kombat 4. You know. It was you know this period I was in school and all that. So I didn't use it that much, but you know as you can see the battery and I got more than four hours of screen on time. But still, still, you know, kind of for yeah, as you can see over here, and this is for yesterday. Yeah, this is for yesterday. This is for no, this is for yesterday, and this is for the, the day before yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, that was a heavy usage, that was a, how I used mo the phone mostly, you know, this is how I use my phone, you know, a all the way screen on, and, yeah, this sucks, you know, to use your phone like this. Your phone will probably insult you a lot. Yeah. I, you know, from what I feel, you know, for example, today, I didn't use it that much. And, you know. Mm, three minutes is probably a joke. Because you know, when you're about ninety percent, when you do a reboot, it will you know just start from the beginning. But from it's about two hours, which I had you know kind of unplugged my phone. I didn't use it that much. I think maybe for thirty minutes of screen on, and it's it has. 90, only 92% of battery so I think the stock ROM was better but from the what well, from what I see for more than four hours of screen on time it looks like almost a beast you know because I had only I think three hours or three and a half hours for stock ROM but it, for this four and a half hour four and a half hour but you know Battery drain when the screen is off is, uh, I think, uh, more. So, um, I think we are done. And you just go ahead and close this video. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you all in the next freaking video. Bye-bye.